Hi, hello. Okay, uh, good morning. First of all, thank you for your time in joining this meeting with us. I apologize for the short notice in scheduling this meeting. I am Azmina and these are my colleagues from Lexis, Ms. Tasha and Ms. Santia from the customer support representative. I hope that all of you are doing well amidst this current situation. Yes. Hello, Ms. Azmina. It's good that we can meet you all virtually. My name is Intan and this is my colleague, Ms. Era. We are the representative from A to Z and Co. We are doing fine and I hope all of you as well. Yes. Hi, everyone. Uh, I am Natasha. I hope you are all in good wealth. Yes, the current situation is upsetting uh, and I would like to apologize that we have to meet virtually instead of meeting physically. I would love to meet all of you in person. Hi, I am Era. It is a pleasure to meet all of you. Yes, the situation nowadays is dreadful, but I believe by staying safe and following all the SOPs, we will get through this together. Yes. Good morning, everyone. I am Julia. Don't worry, I believe after every storm, there's a rainbow. We must always stay positive. Anyways, it is nice to see all of you. Oh, yeah. How is Mr. Jackie doing? Yeah. I heard that he got promoted to become the director of the company. Yeah. Uh, yes. Mr. Jackie is fine and in perfect condition. He is happier than before after getting promoted as he became the new director. We are all doing great under his leadership. He is yeah. well loved by his subordinates. As a matter of fact, he is the one that sent us for the meeting today. He told us that he would love to join it, but he is occupied at the moment. Ah, glad to hear that. Yes, uh, he is a very cheerful man and easy to get along with. He really deserved that spot for all the hard work he did too. We would love to meet him once the situation healed. Um, uh, anyway, uh, the agenda of this meeting today is that we received an email regarding the dissatisfaction of our products from your company. Uh, we truly apologize for the inconvenience caused. Yes, we deeply regret that our latest software has caused so much inconvenience. We also have received notice that our two previous software that your company bought last year has also caused trouble. To be honest, we are perplexed on what has happened as our procedure of processing the software will always go through a strict operation. Yes, what my colleague is true but this is the first time we heard negative feedback from our customers furthermore from our loyal customer it is heartbreaking for us to have such an issue as we want a long-term relationship with our customers it is as if we are being vandalized we are currently investigating about this matter Yes, um, but may I ask, why did your company not bring up this matter when the two previous software was defective? I mean, and up till now, the third software is also claimed to be defective. If we were told sooner, we must have a solution by now. Yes, it is true. All of the three software we bought at are known to be malfunctioning. The reason we did not tell it sooner from the two previous software is because Mr. Jackie will not want your company to have a bad reputation as Alexis is known to be one of the best and outstanding companies that deals in the creation of software products. What's more, Alexis is like a family to us as we often bought your products for the usage of our company. Yeah, what Ms. Era said was right. We would want to ensure that the software was really defective and it turns out until the third item we bought is still flawed. In the end, the company got irritated and requested us to speak out about this matter personally to you. 
Um, first of all, we would like to thank for Mr. Jackie's consideration on our company. I understand and again, we deeply apologize. Together, we want to develop a good relationship. With that, there are matters we would like to propose and negotiate to make sure both parties come to concession. Yes, we are open to any proposal and negotiation that could lead us both to feel satisfied. Why don't we start from your side first? Yes. Um, thank you for your question. As you are all aware, our company has written the software that we bought to your company due to their defective nature. After a meeting with our company about this issue, we want to propose a money back guarantee on all the software plus compensation for the loss of revenues amounting to 200,000. Uh, okay, um, we understand about your company's issue, but we are sorry to inform you that our company's policy is a money back guarantee for the defective software that is being written to us within one week only. From here, we would like to clarify that we can only guarantee to return your money for the product that you bought last week. And as for the other two products, we could not give the money back as it is far from the one week of purchase, which you bought it last year. Mm -hmm. We acknowledge your company's policy, but to overcome these losses, we would hope you make a better proposal that can assure us to stick as your customer so that we would not forage other companies to purchase our software. Of course, we also do not want to lose our loyal customer that has contributed about 20% to our company's overall revenue. With that, we would like to offer a replacement product for the two previous software with a 15% discount on each item. We will make sure the software is monitored strictly and well prepared to avoid any issues again in the future. Our company may not offer any compensation as we stated in the policy, but in order to solve the loss your company has gone through, we would uh, refund the money for the recent product you had bought, which costs about RM50K. We hope you can comprehend this matter. Yes. Thank you. It is heartwarming to hear what you have proposed, and it is very considerate of you to always of you to always want us to become your main customer. I like to begin by saying that we have become your loyal customers for nearly ten years, and unfortunately, since last year, since last year, the software we bought is faulty, and that this has caused a huge loss of nearly two hundred thousand to our company. Yes, in addition, last year was the start of the pandemic and we did not gain much profit for the company. There are employees being discharged and also some of them who volunteered to leave because our company could not handle any more loss also. The overall revenue does not meet the company's expectation. Uh, okay, um, I can understand and we apologize for what has happened to your company. We hope that uh, you can see the points that have been told. Not only has your company been affected by the pandemic last year, but ours too. We try our best to fulfill your company's wish by giving what we can truly offer. Uh, we also need to think about our company's profit as well. But if there is still dissatisfaction, please propose another solution that can benefit both sides. Um, all right then, let's work out the details about our contract and policy. For us to give compensation for the other two software, we need your company to sign a year contract with us, but rest assured, as we will let your company adjust to the contract to some extent so that your company doesn't have to worry about the risk. I am sorry, but I will come right out and say that's not going to work for us. Our company is already at loss due to your defective software sold by Alexis. So there's no way we will agree to sign a contract with your company. 
Well, in that case, we are afraid that our company won't be able to give full compensation uh, for the other two software. Uh, we have no problem in giving your company replacement software with 50% discount for both items. But we can't pay full compensation without a proper co contact with your company. Oh, I'm sorry to be blunt, but this seems a little short-sighted on your side. We actually want to keep a long-term relationship with your company and not signing a contract doesn't mean that we won't be loyal to your company. It just means that we want to have control on the decision-making stage regarding the software. Okay, um, we understand it completely. But you need to realize that we have our own issues to deal with. If we don't exactly know that your company will will able to commit to our company after we give the compensation, then that will create costs for us. We're not willing to absorb those costs. And I feel that if your company wants to have full control of the software, then you should be willing to accept the loss. Yes, we are sorry, but we have to draw a line here. It is simply too risky for us to give you what you are asking for, as we cannot violate our company's policy. Yeah. Uh, it seems like we have reached a bit of an impasse. Let's take a moment to ease things off. Yes, it seems a good idea. Okay, um, all right, guys. Do you have any suggestions on how to discuss this matter? As much as I want to solve this problem, we also need to consider our company's future. We cannot fully agree to their demand. Yes, I agree. I suggest that we compensate their company with new software that has a one year contract. Um, I think that is good and in that one year, if the software they bought causes any inconvenience, we can agree to pay the full compensation to them, yeah? Um, wait, but don't you think that this week cost loss to our company? We cannot afford to bear consequences for our company. Okay, um, but I believe that uh, this time the software is in good condition. As you know that we are currently stricting all the operations. Yeah. Um, yes, but what if they do not agree with this? Hmm. Well, we can give them another offer. They are strongly demanding on the 200k compensation, but I know the company will not agree to this. Yes, that's true. Like, RM200,000 is like too much, but I think if they really want the compensation, we can like uh, decrease the one year contract into a six months contract and then we can add like 89,000 compensation. Do you guys agree? Yes, I think this is a better option. If they do not agree to this, then mm -hmm. it is their loss. We cannot come to another solution. Yeah. Yes, if they have any offer that is better than this, maybe and reconsider about it. Yeah. Yes. Miss Intan, I strongly consider that we should really fight for that compensation of 200,000 ringgit. If we don't get this compensation, then I am out. Mm, let's think for a while. I think. We should also consider their suggestion as it must be hard for them to cope too during this situation. Why do you care about them? They have sold the software that causes a lot of loss to our company. They must fix all of this. I understand that you are irritated with this, but how about instead of 200,000, why not if we request for 100,000? Maybe, I think, maybe they will reconsider this, don't you think? 
I think that is not enough to cover the losses we experienced. But we need to discuss this too with the director. Yes, but whatever it is, I hope that both sides are satisfied because I do not want to create an enemy. You want them to be our main supplier for the software as they are known to be the best company in this area, right? Yeah. Okay, I guess you are right. Maybe later we can call the director to ask for his opinion and have a confirmation with him. Are yeah. you okay with it? Okay, I'm okay with it. Okay, sure. Uh, okay, I guess that um, I will continue. Uh, our team has come up with a solution which we hope can make this work for everyone. Yeah, we are listening. Okay. The problem for us is that if you don't want to sign a contract for a certain period, we might lose money if we proceed to compensate for the other two defective software, which obviously we cannot do. So, here is our solution. We will compensate your company with new software that comes with a contract of one year. In that one year, if our software is causing a loss, then your company is free to ask our company to pay the full compensation for it. Uh, um, we like the basic idea, but earlier, we only said 200,000 ringgit compensation and this sounds like a much worse deal for us. Okay, well, we want to make this work. But the compensation only works if we can guarantee your company's willingness to cooperate with us over a full year. What about we make another offer? As long as you sign a six months co uh, contract with us, then we agree to give 89K compensation with a free monthly software service provided by our technical team. Yes, that sounds like a good offer. But can we at least, uh, can we have about 100,000 compensation so that we can cover up of our previous loss? Uh, um, we are afraid that we cannot make more concession that we already have. I mean, we think that this is a good compromise which allows us to move forward, don't you think? Uh, okay, give us a moment. We'll need to confirm this matter with our director, but we think this should be possible. Yes, let us speak with our director for a while regarding this matter. Okay. Okay, I apologize for the delay. Now we can continue discussing. All right, uh, let's continue. I hope we all have made our minds. Can we run through what we have agreed? Yes, we have spoken to Mr. Jackie and he told us he consent with the terms of your company offered. All right, that's a good news. So, to clarify, your company will sign a six month contract with our company and will be given 89k compensation, new software with a warranty of six months, and also a free monthly service by our company. Yes, that's right. Regarding the contract, your company is free to ask for compensation in a six month period if our software causes any problems that will affect your company but you need to give us at least one week notice for the defective software yes but we still need to settle the exact details of the new software its specifications capabilities and so on uh, yes of course 
But from our point of view, I mean, um, this isn't an issue as we have a team of competent engineers in our company. Uh, the new software we provided is also identical to the previous one that your company bought. So don't worry. Okay, that sounds good to me. We can work that out later. Well enough, to sum this up, your company admits the terms and now we will put this in writing and send you a professional agreement within the next few days. If everything is fine, we can work on getting a contract drawn up. Yeah, thank you so much for your consideration. We will, we will wait for it. Thank you too for your compassion. We apologize once again for the inconvenience we caused. Oh, no worries. I am glad both parties are satisfied with this matter. Yes, uh, thank you so much. It's a blessing to have you as our customer that is easy to deal with. Uh, yes, and we will ensure that this situation does not occur again in the future. Um, I think that uh, we can call it a day then. All right then. Thank you for today. Yeah, thank you to you also. No worries. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day. Yeah, you too.